I'd like to talk about O Isis und Or Series by Mozart, the chorus this time. I'm always very, very fascinated by this chorus and it's obvious why. It's been extremely well constructed and the orchestra plays a superb uh, set of parts, the shaping and in the rows, the, the marching, the decision making. Uh, you have a bold calling out sort of um, start to the chorus, an exclamation. And before that you have a great s storytelling episode by the uh, introduction in your orchestra. The more you listen to something like that, the more you understand how talented a great composer is because it actually depicts so many voices and I like to compare it to a great theater chorus but the, the orchestra often plays a role like that in the sense that um, it will depict reactions to the story and to, to the context, the emotional context, the historical context. There is also a great period of humility and humble prayer in the silence, the pianissimo from the uh, chorus which you don't really expect, it just burst out in, in prayer and then they just call down in silent prayer and it is a whole range of human emotions and human sincerity deployed here. Uh, what I do like with this piece is that even though it is actually about it's more or less uh, Egyptian gods and free Freemasonry, uh, you do have a great depth and a great scope of identification for anybody who um, understands what prayer is about. The introduction also speaks along phrases and legato and uh, so the accents at the beginning of uh, each phrase just, just remind me of dragging feet of the people who's been enduring quite a lot and you have those laments from the orchestra at the beginning. So please look at the other video I've got on my playlist. Midnightnotebook.com and my video blog is midnightnotebook.tumblr midnightnotebook.tumblr.com Keep listening to great composers. They will change your life.